I'm Psychic Cosplay and today I'm going to be doing a little demonstration of how I do attachments for armor. Now I did a video on this a little while ago and it's been a little bit so I thought I'd just do a little refresh, a little bit of a new video and show you how I do my attachment process and this is just my individual, this is how I like to do it. You can do it however you want. I hope that this will be helpful for you in having your attachments stick and stay stuck. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm not attaching on any particular armor piece right now. This is just a piece of scrap foam that I have to do the demonstration. For gluing attachments, I normally use hot glue, but you can use contact cement if you wish. This is Barge. This is the brand name of contact cement that I like to use. And, or you can also use super glue. I tend not to use super glue when doing attachments, but that's just my personal preference. I like to use hot glue because it's hot glue. It's great. I know a lot of people knock hot glue, but I don't. I like it. It works. Anyway, I'm going to let that warm up. And while that warms up, I am going to kind of trace out where I want this attachment to go. And that is because I'm going to make little hatch marks in the foam with my blade. So I'm just going to lightly score this area. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to make little crosshatch pattern. And what this does is it opens up the foam. So I'm going to heat this up with my heat gun. And this is just going to make more surface area for the piece of strapping and the glue to attach to. So the glue will have more surface area to hold on to in the foam itself. So I'm just going to take my heat gun and it opens up. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, can you see that? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So you see how that's all nice and opened up now? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to let that do its thing. This is still not hot enough. Heat up faster. Okay, I went and got my strapping. This is one inch black nylon webbing, nylon strapping. I get this in bulk from Amazon. I will link it in the description box down below because I run through at least a couple of rolls of these and that's like 25 yards a year. I do a lot of strapping. Now, if you're strapping with like pleather, be aware that glue does not stick to the shiny side of pleather very well. If you're going to be using pleather, I recommend actually sewing something else on to the pleather, either nylon strapping or foam um, to make sure that that pleather is going to stick and actually like hold your piece. This is why I use fabric strapping for most of my strapping. I can also sew Velcro on. I have one inch Velcro that I sew on and that makes a really nice and secure attachment point. You can also use snaps, you can use D-rings, you can use whatever, but this is just basically how I glue the strap down. All right, hopefully this is heated up. Where is my glue stick? Okay, hopefully this is finally heated up. Anyway, let's uh, just get all the glue. You want to be very liberal with your glue application and then push down. Nice and hard. And you're going to see glue leak out around the sides. That's okay. You actually want that. So just push down, get that glue in there, get it all here to the fibers. And then the reason I needed an extra glue stick and went searching anyway, is because I'm going to put glue over all of the edges. And I'm going to make a little bar of glue over that. And you could leave it like that. You don't necessarily need to do more. My cat has decided he wants to help. Excuse you. If you just want to leave it at that, you can. But what I like to do is take a little tiny piece of strapping and add more glue and go skadoosh. And you just get it over here. And you just glue around these edges like that. 
Ta da! And that's how I attach my strapping to whatever piece I am gluing on. Now, I could do this um, strapping with elastic. I'm still gonna add a reinforcement bar over the elastic. And I just got my finger in the glue. Owie wowie. Anyway, um, this strap right here acts as a reinforcement because it's in perpendicular to your strapping. And when you pull on the strapping, it's just gonna reinforce the whole thing. And I've found that when I do this, I very rarely, I got my finger in the glue again. I've found when I do this, that the strapping very rarely pulls up. The only reason the strapping would fail is if it's very, very, very hot. I am very, very, very sweaty and I'm in it for long periods of time. I gotta stop touching it because the glue is still setting. Anyway, this is how I do my attachments. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.